Before I came out to L.A., before I got on the plane, my wife told me something that she said applies to all women. And so, ladies, I want to poll y'all real quick, all right? So think about your close friends. Have you seen their tits? Okay, yes, 100% yes. Wow, that is awesome. <laughs> Uh, it's so good to know what boys hope is happening. <laughs> is actually happening. <laughs> She's like, yeah, we're like complimentary, you know? <laughs> it's like, girl, yours are so big. I'm jealous. <laughs> girl, yours are so perky. <laughs> Fellas, we gotta start doing that. <laughs> Compliment my shaft. <laughs> so perky. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. She had a friend get breast implants, and she's had a couple friends do that. And then after they get them, they're like, ladies, get over here. You got to take them for a test drive. And I thought that was weird, but if I added four inches to my dick, I'd be like, boys, get the fuck over here. You got to see this. <laughs> doing push-ups with this thing. Uh, I don't know. I feel like you never stop learning about the opposite sex. Like, I, you know, my wife, we live together now, and, and the other day we we're sitting on the couch and she just turns to me and said, hey, does your dick float? <laughs> like when you're in the bath or a pool. Does it float? <laughs> Sir, does your dick float? Yes, you. He started saying yes before I asked him. He was like, tapping her, babe, let me show you later, all right? We don't have to wait. Get that bowl of water out here right now, all right? Prove it. <laughs> I didn't know what to say, so I, but I was afraid that if I said that it floated, that meant it was small. <laughs> so I was like, no, nah, bitch, it sinks. <laughs> it's, it's like like an anchor just dragging across. I can't swim in the deep end, I'll die. In our wedding vows, when I said I'd always be your anchor. She's seen it, I don't think she believes it. Uh, I don't know. Living together is, is interesting, like living with a woman, you know, like the other day I found my wife's vibrator because I was looking for it. <laughs> I didn't have to look that hard. She left it plugged into the wall, <laughs> like next to her hair dryer. I, she unplugged my cell phone. <laughs> I gotta leave the house with 7% <laughs> battery because she's having a party as soon as I leave. <laughs> I was like, all right, babe, when you're alone with this, how long does it take for you to get yourself off? And she was like, I don't know, like a minute? <laughs> a minute? What a long time. <laughs> fucking best friend right there. Uh, <laughs> we got him getting there in seconds, bro. Hell yeah. Man. But seriously, a minute, that's crazy. I didn't know that was biologically possible. I, I thought it took between 45 minutes and never. <laughs> My, my wife and I see eye to eye. We get along really well. Uh, the one thing that we don't see eye to eye on is she wants me to dirty text with her and I want to go to heaven. <laughs> Can't have both. It's in Corinthians. Um, <laughs> like, she sent me a, a text on a, like a Wednesday at noon. It was just like, hey... I can tell she's doing this with her shoulders by, by how many Y's are in. Hey, I'm all horned up. 
<laughs> why don't you send me a dirty text? And I was like, why are you horny at work? <laughs> Is it Jeff? <laughs> Your cubicle mate Jeff making you horny? I hate Jeff. Uh, <laughs> You love Jeff, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I don't know. Cut that. No, leave it in, leave it in. Uh, <laughs> is your name Jeff? No? Oh, you just know a Jeff? You know a Jeff? You love a Jeff? It's a good name. What an interesting man you are. That was a, what a good place to interject. Um, you know what, now's my time, all right? Protect the Jeffs of the world. <laughs> with a J and a G, take them both with you. Um, I don't know, so I, I sent her one. Do you guys wanna hear my literal first dirty text ever? All right, um, so. so So this is what I sent her. I like making you horny. It turns me on to make you super horny. That's not good. Super horny sounds like a Harvey Weinstein villain. Um, it's got a semicolon in it, so it's grammatically correct. Uh, one horny English teacher in here. Um, so she asked me to send her this, right? So I'm like, oh, she's got something hot in the holster to come back with, right? That's her response. According to the doctors, my grandma's gonna die today. <laughs> what the fuck? What kind of left turn of the dirty talk is that? I didn't know what to say, so I was just like, I'm as stiff as she's gonna be. <laughs> That was the right thing to do, we're fucking married. Um, so I knew she was the one. Um, I don't know, I, it's, I, I like getting to, you know, living with a woman and getting to, she's made me more of a feminist. Any, any feminists in here? Okay, none of the front row. Uh, I don't know, I feel like it's important to at least say you're a male feminist because there are a lot of really aggressive ones out there. Have you experienced these guys that'll like, you know, stand on the corner with a clipboard and their shirt tucked in, yell at you? Like, hey bro, did you help the fucking cause today? Hmm? What'd you do? What'd you do to help? I was helping all fucking day long. What did you do? And I'm not gonna lose that competition, right? So I'll just be like, hey, uh, bro, relax. I'm such a feminist that I take 23 cents of every dollar I make and I throw it in the goddamn garbage. <laughs> We all make 77 cents on the dollar. <laughs> if you didn't like that, you won't like the next two. Uh, <laughs> I'm such a feminist that I have a fleshlight. Those rubber vaginas. I have a, and I'm such a feminist, I go down on that fleshlight. <laughs> 45 minutes. Because that's how long it takes, right? Ladies, ladies fucking come. Uh, we're down there like, what the fuck are you doing up there? Get your eyes closed, focus. Um, I'm such a feminist that I believe in God because God is a woman, right? Yeah. So was Jesus. Pronounced Jessus. <laughs> We've been saying it wrong. You've seen the pictures, right? Long hair, high cheekbones, turning water into rose. <laughs> <laughs> Made her 12 closest friends go to a group dinner. <laughs> Just to be like, one of you bitches is gonna betray me. <laughs> and I will literally die. <laughs> hey Jess, why are we sitting on one side of the table? For the group picture, bitch. <laughs> lean away from me, everyone lean away from me. 
my dad's more important than your dad. <laughs> um, so I, uh, I'm from Texas, and uh, in Texas, the age of consent, yeah. <laughs> Buckle up! Uh, <laughs> in Texas, the age of consent is 17. Yeah, somebody, somebody, a creep told me that recently. Um, 17. I thought we all agreed that 18 was an adult, right? Cigarettes, voting, military, 18. And then we... <laughs> Did somebody in our state government stand up like... Listen, we didn't fight in the Alamo just to fuck these old bitches. <laughs> Junior in high school, I will not go higher. <laughs> Going to homecoming. Uh, I did that joke once, and uh, a couple came up to me after the show, and the guy was like, you know, I met my wife when I was 23, and she was 17 and three quarters. It was in that moment I realized there were only two groups of people that still use the fraction <laughs> at the end of an age. It's like small little children and pedophiles. Uh, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much.